Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a almost full face of rose ink. I'm very excited because I am really into this brand and I really like just like the aesthetic of it and all the products, how they're described. It's just very me. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. I have, um, well, let me show you what I have. So I have the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum, which I got during the VIB sale. I have the Rose Ink Soft Light Luminous Hydrating Concealer. Very excited about that. I hope I like it. I have the Lip and Cheek Color in Azalea, which you might have seen because this is in my shop my stash so I've actually been using it quite a bit so I do kind of have like my full thoughts on this pretty much. I have a uh, this is a lip color. I don't have the packaging for this because it came in a gift set. Let me see. I, I kept <laughs> the gift box thing. So yeah, this is called the Lip Sculpt Amplifying Lip Color and I have the shade Quartz and I also have the Brow Renew Enriched Eyebrow Shaping Gel. It's just a clear gel. So everything else is obviously not going to be rose ink. So I already primed my skin using the primers that I have been using that are in my current rotation but just so you know because it might affect how I feel about the um the tinted serum I'm using the Bosha pore affecting white charcoal mattifying treatment primer I only put this like here and on my nose and it really does like give a blurred effect I don't know if you can See that on camera. I actually put some here too because I have more visible pores in that area. And then on the rest of my face, I used the Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm from Touch and Soul. This one is honestly like a moisturizer, um, and I really like it. So I know how these products perform together because, like I said, I've been using them with other products. So and I like them with other products. So if I don't like them with this, then it might be <laughs> the tinted serum. So yeah. So this is like a mix of first impressions. Well, it is mostly first impressions except for the blush, so yeah. So if you didn't know, Rose Ink is Rosie Huntington Whiteley's brand. I think that's her name. Um, I had no idea who she was when this brand first launched. I just liked how it looked and it's a new clean brand at Sephora and historically I've liked a lot of what Sephora calls clean brands. They tend to be, I don't know, just formulas that I really like so I was really excited when this launched. Um, and <laughs> funny story, the other day I was watching Mad Max Fury Road for like the 17th time and I was like I wonder who that actress is and I googled it and it's Rosie Huntington Whiteley so she's the pregnant one that gets run over by the truck if you didn't know <laughs> so that's how I found out who she was also she's married to Jason Statham or something I don't know she's like a Victoria's Secret model so there's that um, so let's just <laughs> jump in to the Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. I get really confused on this because that's the name on the box, but on the Sephora app, this is called the Skin Enhanced Luminous Skin Tint. So I don't know if they changed the name or what's going on, but I got the shade 40, which is described as light to medium skin tone slash neutral. So I hope it's my shade. The main thing about this that everyone's talking about is the like, how this looks in the bottle. Because it's one of those um, things that are like, the pigment is in 
like little capsules in like a clear base and you mix it up to like break up the pigment so it looks very interesting uh, this is very expensive for what it is I feel it's 60 well I don't know what it is because I haven't tried it yet <laughs> but it's $65 so it is like more almost like in the luxury price range if not it is in the luxury price range for Sephora um, so that's why I waited <laughs> till the sale to get this everything else I got a really good deal on uh, I mentioned this in a previous video I had gotten this rose ink the modern essentials gift set from Sephora I think it was around the holidays and it was like $37 Canadian for um, everything else I told you except the concealer but just to put that in perspective just this blush is $40 on its own so I think Sephora messed up but it worked out for me <laughs> so let's get into it so this says on the back pump onto back of hand mix with foundation brush to activate micro encapsulated pigment spheres blend gently onto face so i'm gonna do what it says although i usually use a sponge to apply my base products but because this is such like a different kind of formula that i haven't tried before i'm gonna do what it says to do so there is a brush that launched with this foundation or skin tint whatever I didn't get it because it's very expensive and it looks kind of exactly like this this one might be a little more you know fluffy but because I've used it quite a bit this is a contour brush from Bill billion dollar brushes but I use it for cream products so I have this but then I was also worried like I've been using this with other things and I don't want to mix formulas so I pulled out my Rare Beauty foundation brush but this is a lot more dense so I'm gonna try like I did with the Rare Beauty moisturizer tinted moisturizer I'll do one side with a brush and if I don't like it I'll do the other side with a sponge and compare so I guess I'll start with one pump. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, okay, one pump is like nothing. But it's see like it's kind of like runny. And you can see like the pigment spheres. Okay. So mix onto back of hand. I'm going to use the Rare Beauty, just in case. Oh, okay, so that like <laughs> just blended right out into like a very luminous finish. But you can see it is going on. Well, maybe I should zoom you in. Okay, I was worried about the shade of this, but it's actually like the same color as my skin tone <laughs> so it might be a really good color match or it's just so sheer that it doesn't really matter what shade you get as long as it's not like super off that just like melted right into my face I think you can tell there's a bit more coverage on this side as opposed to here where you can see my redness but that was definitely not enough product okay that pump was that came out more that time my camera doesn't want to focus on this see it's very liquidy but as soon as you touch the brush into it it just like totally the spheres break up and it just becomes a really nice finish this shade actually might even be a little light for me and this is the shade 40 and i'm quite fair i mean i guess i'm not fair i'm a light 
I used to think I was fair, but now that brands have so many different shades and their ranges, I feel like I'm more a light skin now. Because fair is like just too light on me. But this is like very... Uh, it's quite light on me. But there's the difference. So it's definitely covering redness, I feel. I am noticing it's not working with the Bosha primer. So I think that is a combination of these two products together because everywhere else it looks really nice except where I put the Bosha. So yeah, I don't think I'd use that again with this foundation. I'm really happy with how it looks everywhere else. So, if you can see, it honestly just looks like my skin. It's a very light coverage, but I still feel like it did do some covering up. At least it neutralized my redness on that side. Okay, this is looking good so far because <laughs> if you saw my testing new makeup video, uh, the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, I knew right away it did not work for me. Like, even like over here where my skin is like pretty nice and smooth, it looked terrible. It was like patchy and lifting every like texture that I have, which honestly, at first I was like, maybe my skin is just bad right now. Um, but no, like all my other products look great because I've been using a retinol and I was like, maybe it's like, you know how retinols like, they're like cell renewal or I don't, I don't know. So I thought maybe it just looks bad on me because of that retinol. But no, my skin, when I touch it, it feels so soft and smooth. So it's not my skin, it was that product and I returned it in case you didn't know. <laughs> So yeah, this one is working out so much better for me. I really like how it feels. Like it doesn't, you know sometimes like tinted serums or tinted moisturizers, you feel them on your skin. This one, I not, I don't feel it, but it's so nice feeling. It's like, I don't know, kind of like cooling on the face. And I'm just, I'm still using the brush because I honestly like how it, how it worked. I think with a sponge, you could use it to go on after if you had any brush strokes or anything, but I feel like if you went in directly with the sponge, it wouldn't necessarily like break up the pigments like a brush does. Yeah, it's honestly just grabbing exactly where I put the Bosha. So I'm glad that I <laughs> told you guys that first. See how like it's breaking up here? It doesn't like the Bosha primer. Which like whatever, I'm not concerned. I'm only using that Bosha because it's in my deck of panning. <laughs> and I don't even think that product exists anymore. So doesn't matter to me that it's not working. It's not like it's my holy grail, holy grail primer. Okay, so this is, I did end up using like three, three pumps. I honestly might have, I could have gone maybe a shade. I don't know if a shade up. Oh yeah, a shade, well, a shade up says medium skin tone, so. Yeah, I'm definitely not a medium skin tone, so I don't know if the shades run light or if it's just the neutral undertone ones. There's also shade 30, which is light skin tone, warm golden undertone, but I usually go for whatever is neutral because in the past, whenever I've used something described as cool tone, it looks pink on me. 
and warm tone just kind of scares me <laughs> and sounds like it's gonna be orange so i just tend to stick with neutral yeah so i definitely need to stop <laughs> blending this around that area um let me see if i go over it with a sponge if it helps I'm kind of hoping it'll just like re-melt into my skin in that area because if not it looks really bad with that primer. So that's how it looks. I feel like I look pale. Um, but you can see like it does have a luminous finish like it said and it feels really nice and lightweight on my skin. So I'm liking this so far. Maybe if I end up like really loving this, I would go in store and ask for help like to be matched to another shade. Cause yeah. In the bottle, this looked like it might be too dark for me, but look what it did on my face. Okay, interesting. So I guess I'll go in next with the concealer. So the concealer I bought in store like the day it launched and then I put it away in my new makeup drawer and I was focusing on other things. I'm trying to finish my Tarte um, Aqua Sealer. So I, yeah, I didn't use it, but I did try it on in the store and I was matched to this shade LX040. So this is the Soft Light Luminous Hydrating Concealer. Again, this has a different name on the Sephora app, which I like this name better, the Soft Light Clean Dewy Hydrating Concealer. That's how it got me, I remember. So LX040 is light slash medium skin tone, golden neutral undertone. Okay. So when I did try this on in the store, it was on like a Q-tip and it was a very small amount and I felt like it did a lot of covering. And today like I have a lot of redness under my eyes, so let's put it to the test. So this is the packaging. I guess I should have <laughs> showed it to you before I opened it. I love it. It's like this soft touch but not rubber, which I like. It's just a really nice it's kind of like giving rare beauty vibes. Yeah, I really like the packaging. And it's one of these like large doe foot applicators, which seem to be very popular lately. It looks quite dark um, on this, but in the bottle it looked okay. But anyway. Now I'm worried like these two tones are going to clash. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with like a very small amount. This is how I normally apply concealer. And actually, does it say to use a brush or anything? It says a buildable non-commodogenic -com concealer that visibly brightens, blurs, and contours while nourishing skin with hydrating squalene and protective vitamin E. It's supposed to be medium coverage with a radiant finish. How to use. Using the applicator, dot cream onto desired areas and blend using fingers or concealer brush. Okay, I'm gonna use my finger because that's how I did it in store. I'm just trying to get you. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll do this eye so that you can see and I can see in the mirror. So that's how it looks blended out. I don't know what this line is. <laughs> it's like grabbing some onto that area. But I think you can, well, I can see this at least compared to the tone on my skin. It does look a lot more yellow. I mean, I guess it did something. I'm gonna try, <clears throat> something's wrong with my voice today. <clears throat> I'm gonna try putting a bit more on the outer part. I don't know if I liked the blend with my finger, so I'm gonna get the Rare Beauty concealer. Actually, is it right here? Yes. 
my Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. It blends out really easily. I just don't think it goes with <laughs> the shade on my face. So maybe I should have went with the shade 30 in this because that's described in the same way, a warm neutral, what was it? No, a warm golden undertone, golden neutral undertone. Oh, I can't figure these shade ranges out clearly. Okay, that looks better with the brush, actually. I can see. It is grabbing right here. I don't know if that's from the Bosha primer again. I might have gotten it up there. Also, this, <laughs> this uh, line really doesn't like that primer. I do like the finish of it. It looks like skin. It looks skin-like. I just don't know. Now I'm not sure if the concealer is not the right tone for me or the face. Because one of them is off, clearly. But it blended out really easily. Um, and it's not like super dewy, so I feel like it's not gonna like settle into my fine lines as much as some other concealers do, but we'll have to see. I don't really want to put any more because it's not meshing with my primer. Yeah, really not. <laughs> okay, yeah, I feel like you can see this is a bit more yellow than the rest of my face, so that's like a an undertone issue, but I think I like it so far, aside from the fact that it doesn't mix with my primer. So I'm gonna go in with the blush because it's a cream blush. So this is the Blush Divine Radiant Lip and Cheek Color. I haven't used it on my lips yet, but I've used it as a blush many times. And I don't know if it's my favorite, or at least like I haven't found a way to apply it that is really working for me. I've tried it with, uh, I tried it with my fingers. I tried it with a blush brush. Well, like a bl a brush that I use for cream blush. <laughs> and I've tried it with a sponge. I don't know. I just, I can't seem to get like an even application. But anyway, so this is the packaging. Again, I really like it. It feels really nice and luxurious. It has a mirror, and this is the shade that I have. It's Azalea. It's a really nice, like, pink berry leaning tone. So I think today I wanna try something different. And I haven't tried putting my sponge directly in here. So I'm gonna try that. I'm a little worried. Okay, so I did get some product. Okay, that's working. Okay, I think I that's the best way to apply it actually. Cause I found with the brush it was like lifting um, my product underneath and then it didn't look even because it lifted everything but this is making it go on a lot more like blurred out and I feel like this formula has a sheen to it if you can see that okay yes I think that so I just discovered <laughs> the best way for me to apply these is with the sponge going directly in the pan so I hope that doesn't like create any issues with the formula going forward because I really like that effect. So that's the blush. Okay, now I, I really like it. <laughs> I wasn't sure at first. So this looks 
on camera looks patchy but that's actually like my skin that's red so I don't know what that's about <laughs> I really hope it's not a reaction to the this because I really like how it looks otherwise so I guess I'll just keep going with the rest of the rose ink products that I have and then I'll finish my face with my other stuff um, but next I want to use the rose ink I don't need to keep saying rose ink because everything's rose ink the lip sculpt amplifying lip color in the shade quartz so this is one of these like crayons I did show in a previous video like there's already some like film on it I don't know if that's like what they call wax bloom um, but it doesn't seem to have you know affected the formula it's just that happened since I got it so this is like a twist up crayon and yeah I guess I'll just draw it right on my lips it's very pink <laughs> It feels like the NARS lip pencils, lip crayons. Like it's very velvety. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's like a matte, um, blurred kind of effect, which I like. I don't know about the color on me but it feels nice it's not like dry or anything it does have like a kind of florally scent it's nothing too much like it's not like you know those like high-end fashion brands that put like perfume in their <laughs> lip products it's not that it's not like that but i did notice like it had a, a fragrance but I think the pigment looks really nice and even. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> what other shades do they have in this? Yeah, there's only four shades of this. And they're all kind of pinky. Maybe I, I think I would have liked this shade better. Abstraction. It's described as a smoky peach. But I got the shade Quartz because this came in that gift set so on this model it looks almost like red this is described as rose and then the last product i have from rose ink is the brow gel so again it's called the brow renew enriched eyebrow shaping gel it says apply with short upward strokes add additional coats for a fuller thicker looking brow so um when i open this in my haul video, I was like startled at how big this brush is for a eyebrow product. This is honestly like a mascara wand size, um, but I'm kind of intrigued. It doesn't seem like a lot of product is coming off on this though, so that's fine. It's like an oval shape, so let's see. <laughs> what happens oh okay the brush is very soft do we see a difference yeah I think it lifted but it's honestly it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like anything <laughs> it like it's supposed to be a brow gel but it's not like super wet feeling but it does seem to be doing something yeah it just feels like no product is coming out. Like, I 
guess it's just the way the brush is and it's a very like tight um well you can't really see but the stopper on it is like very tight so it's removing most of the product which is good because you don't want a super goopy like brush when you're doing your brows I guess yeah I do feel that there's product but it's not it's not like the Patrick Ta like brow wax or even the milk Kush clear brow gel this is what I'm using right now this I feel like it feels very wet in my brows before it dries and I don't love the brush on this so <laughs> look how compared to the rose ink this is the milk one so this I find is too small and this is a little big but I mean it's a clear brow gel so it's not like you're getting it even if you got it on your skin you wouldn't see it and there's no white cast at least not yet so I think I like that a lot just for like a super easy, quick thing to do. I think it made my brows look fuller. Whereas the milk one kind of like clumps them together and they look more sparse. I feel like this gave more fullness and like a feathery brow look. So I think I like this so far. We'll just have to see if it dries down with any white cast, then it's not gonna be good. But I feel like because of the way this formula is and that it applies so little product at a time i don't think that's gonna happen but i'll leave a pinned comment below on like any if any weird stuff happens i'll let you guys know so that is all the rose ink things that i have so i'm just gonna do um the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll come back to give my final first impression thoughts. Okay, so here is the finished look. I'll show you zoomed in because it's doing something very weird <laughs> right in that area where I put the Bosha primer. So I don't know how well, like it basically like didn't stick down where the Bosha primer was and it kind of just like went into my pores so those two formulas like do not work together but otherwise I think it looks really nice I mean it's obviously a sheer coverage this is like that's just my skin being red in case you're wondering also right here I don't know what's happening um but yeah, I feel like it looked like it had more coverage before, but now that I've been wearing it as I'm doing my other uh, makeup steps, it's it became like even more skin-like again, which I like. So obviously if you prefer like even medium or full coverage foundations, I don't know if you'd like this because it's very natural. It's very like a skin-like finish. It's not gonna cover up much. Um, but I also didn't use, like I didn't do any spot concealing or anything. So like you see, like it didn't cover this spot here. It did some coverage, like I think it evened out overall, but you can still see like my freckles and redness coming through. So, and this is like just where I wear my glasses, so it's always red there, but yeah. So that's how it looks, and let's see. My forehead looks really good. Um, sometimes like around this area, it can look really dry and cakey, but it actually looks quite nice. I think because this has like a radiant finish, it gives a really flattering effect where it looks like you're almost like not even wearing a complexion product. So that is something I like personally. So yeah, I just have to keep testing it, making sure like it is this primer that's making it be weird 
in my pore area but yeah because everywhere else I like how it looks so I didn't add much I just did my wet n wild mega cushion contour and I just did mascara oh and I'm str I'm still testing this grande glow plumping liquid highlighter I like how I did it today I just took a I took this elf small stipple brush and I took the product off the wand with the brush and then put it on and that worked really well so yeah that's all I added I didn't want to do any eye makeup because I might film another video after this but yeah that's it so I'll leave any updates below that I noticed throughout the day because I will wear this. Maybe, will I do a wear test? I might do a wear test because I'm going to go outside today. It's actually Easter Monday when I'm filming this. Um, so I think we're going to a cafe and like going to sit outside because it's actually a really nice day. So yeah, I think I will do a wear test. Because I think that might be interesting considering like it already looks like that <laughs> where my pores are we'll have to see how it goes um, the concealer it didn't crease it I mean I used like you saw a small amount but that's the amount I use with all my concealers so yeah and like my Tarte Aqua Sealer that I'm trying to pan forever it seems that one like goes right into my fine lines because when I smile my cheeks push my under eyes up as you can see and that's where all the product goes in but so far it looks good I just I don't think I have the right tone and I don't know if it's this that's off or this and I'm, I don't know if I should even bother like going in store and finding out because I was matched to this in store, but now compared to this, I feel like it looks yellow. So somebody help me. <laughs> I'm not a cool tone I, because then I'll look pink. Warm tone looks yellow or orange. Neutral, I don't know. I don't know anymore. So I have to figure that out on my own. Um, but yeah, and the brow product, surprisingly, I was kind of like feeling like this is not going to do anything because it felt like I wasn't getting any product on. But honestly, it, my brows are still lifted and when I touch them, they're not like crispy or anything. So I think that's going to be really exciting for me because I... You guys know, like, I'm in, I've been trying a lot of different brow, like, waxes, pomades, all that. But I do prefer things in a tube with a brush. So, if this holds throughout the day, I might end up really loving this one. And the blush, I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but I feel like my skin eats this product. Like, can you even see that I'm wearing blush anymore? I don't know <laughs> I don't know so this might be one that as I continue to use it I'll probably use it well it's a cream blush so I'm gonna use it as a cream blush but I might use it as a base for powder blushes because I just feel like it doesn't stay on my skin and I don't know if it's because my skin is dry and it's just absorbing this product or if it's the formula that's just not long lasting. If you guys have tried this and you have any thoughts on that, let me know below. Oh, and for setting spray, I didn't want to use my Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist because I didn't want, like I want to see how the product wears and if it's dewy on its own. So I just added this Complex Culture Filter Out Daily Blue Light Defense Mist it's in my shop my stash um so this didn't add any extra glow this is what the the skin tint did so i think it looks pretty good from afar <laughs> just not in this area so i will keep you posted and i'll probably 
see you in the next clip with the wear test. Okay, I am back. I almost forgot <laughs> to come back and tell you guys how this wore, so I put my pajamas <laughs> back on. But uh, I actually did end up leaving my house. We went to a cafe, then I went to the mall. Um, yeah, so I think it's been about like six hours around, which isn't like the longest wear test, but I wanted to film this before the sun goes down and it's getting really cloudy out there. So I feel like it wore really well. Um, I have no complaints about this. As you can see, it's very, um, luminous, like the name suggests. I was wearing the, well I am wearing, a like glassy skin kind of primer, but I don't think it's the primer that's giving this glow because I've used that before and normally I'm not this <laughs> glowy, so I definitely think it is the skin tint. And I'll zoom you in actually. So I don't know if you can see here. So this was where like the product bunched up because of the Bosha primer, but it actually like doesn't look as bad as it did at first. So it kind of like wore, like the longer I wore it, it actually started to look better. So that's good. But yeah, I think you can see like it's a very sheer coverage product. Um, I think it was just the shade that I have that neutralized my redness. I don't think it's really going to cover much. It's more like a, it honestly feels like skincare, but with like a little tint to it. So, but I think that's the point of the product also. So I'm actually really happy with this. Let's look at my forehead. Like it didn't even crease. Well, maybe a little, but normally my forehead wrinkle here um product like bunches up in there and this looks fine and i did use like three pumps of product so it's not that i didn't use a lot of product that's just how the product wears um and it feels like it feels nice my skin doesn't feel dry it feels like it stayed like moisturized throughout the day so i'm really happy with this and I also am really liking the brow gel. I don't know if you can tell, but my brows are still like in the position that I put them in when I applied that product. And they don't feel crusty, but they stayed upright. So I'm kind of loving that actually. And I really did like the big brush. It helped to make my eyebrows look fuller. Yeah, and these red marks are where my glasses go, so. That, that's just what my face always looks like. So, uh, for the concealer, I think you can see this line that was there since the beginning. I think that is also where the concealer met the Bosha primer. Those two formulas just do not go together. Um, and the concealer itself is, well, you saw I didn't apply very much of it but I feel like it's like a light coverage. And I don't know if you can build it up because I don't like to build up my concealer. I don't want it to look too heavy under my eyes, but I think you can also see that it didn't really settle into my fine lines. So that's good. I just do feel like my under eye looks a bit dry. So. Yeah, I'll have to keep testing the concealer. I also don't think it's the right shade for me, unfortunately. Oh, and today, <laughs> so zoom me back out. Today, uh, when I went to the mall, I actually stopped at Sephora, of course, because it was right next to the store that I wanted to go to. And I wanted, I went to look at the, at the different shades of the concealer. And in the store, the LX40 shade that I have said cool underneath it. But on the Sephora app, it says warm golden or something. So what's going on? 
I don't understand anymore. So I'm not even going to attempt to try and find another shade. I'll just keep using this one and see how I like it. But yeah, overall, pretty happy with everything. Oh, the blush. I don't know if you can tell, but it doesn't even look like I'm wearing blush anymore. Right? It just, like, my face just, like, absorbs that blush. To be fair, it does that with some other cream blushes, too. I guess because I have dry skin, it absorbs all the moisture of a cream blush. But it didn't even, like, leave the... <laughs> A color on my skin I feel so I don't think I recommend the the rose ink cream blush um, if you want a really good cream blush I do recommend the tower 28 and the Fenty ones last really well on me but this one just like disappeared so yeah and the lip product uh, wore really nicely actually it's like basically gone now um, because I've eaten and everything like that, but I don't know if you can see that it kind of left a stain So I do like lip products like that that leave like a stain on the lips because as they wear off You're not left with like nothing and then like a pink You know line around it's it wears like really nicely and my lips don't feel like dried out or anything so Yeah, that's my roundup of all the rose ink products i hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye